I want to talk about this. It's time for Tommy and I to have a a talk. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. No, we haven't talked about it yet. <laughs> I want to yeah. spell out. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, let's it, let's hear your version first. Yeah. I, oh no it's no no. Be no. Real. Yeah yeah. Okay. Is it comedy suicide by playoff loss. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It wraps it up. What, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last public comedy suicide? In New York City? <laughs> when it was it documented? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have footage. <laughs> we do have footage. 2023. We have footage. Uh, uh, Beth, delete the footage. Yeah. Okay, so uh, n- earlier, well, now, was it? Mid last year? Yeah. Probably three, it was towards the end of the year. Ago? It was October. It was October. Yeah. October, because that's when the, the series was. Yeah. Okay, so the Phillies are in the World Series. Obviously, our boy, Tommy Pope, very excited that the Phillies are in the World Series. Yeah. Uh, now, I had booked him long in advance for stand up <laughs> on the spot before, you know, I realized that those were going to coincide yeah. with each other. And uh, stand up on the spot. Nobody if, knew they would coincide. It was a hell of a run. For people yeah. that don't run, know, it's a, it's a wonderful show that's taped live. It's a huge production. It's a big to do. It's an honor to be asked to do it in the first place. You got to show respect. <laughs> <laughs> the press conference. Yeah. Hold on. Dude. Hold on. I let my team down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just start handing out envelopes and pull mine out. Yeah. Pull my Bud Dwyer myself. Someone no, no. I just, for, me. for the yeah. fucking listeners that yeah. don't understand what stand up on the spot is, you, 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 you go on stage. No prepared material. Yeah. You ask the audience for suggestions. They yell out suggestions and you create stand up on the spot based off those audience suggestions. Yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> so the Phillies start losing the World Series and it's becoming very clear as the night goes on. Well, you were there I was there earlier in the day with y'all. Yes. He yeah. he was there 2 days before that. He yes. got you flew in from For LA. game what was it? Game 4. It was NLCS, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Game 4. Game 4. Yeah. And we lost that night. I, and yes. we had to win the next night. Yes, had to. And I looked at Foley or who, who, who was on the couch with it doesn't matter. And I looked at you and I went, you know what this means? Tomorrow might be a bit of a problem. And I go, what do you... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I go, what do you mean? What do you... <laughs> I said, tomorrow's an elimination game. And if it's not going well, like, timing-wise... It might not line up. He I goes, might I be... don't know if I'm going to be in the right headspace. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what, is that? what does that mean? I might be a little stressed. It means yeah. I'm an immature child that <laughs> can't let go of a loss. <laughs> I buried my team that night. He's literally also sitting on a couch in a room where there's holes in the wall for me punching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Punching holes in the wall from previous it's losses. It's extra storage. Yeah. <laughs> so the show, is go- the show is going great for the taping that we were doing. <laughs> It's a it's a fantastic taping, right? And uh, I didn't as, watch any of the show. Yeah, he's in the bar, so I don't know how the show actually works. Mm, you take that back. <laughs> you take that back. I explained yeah. this dude yeah. so many times. <laughs> yes, I'll let you talk about the Phillies and everything else, but <laughs> the amount of times I freaking explain how the show works, you're not gonna say that, dude, in front it's of also everybody. It's not that complicated. Of it's really not. It's not. <laughs> but I reminded I him. All I had to do was watch, and he goes like this. He goes, "Sit in there. You'll see a couple comics, and I'm just on the phone at the bar, like, fuck." But also, <laughs> I explained it at that time to us. I a wasn't reminder. listening. I don't care. You I'm were saying, t- I you saw were- you at your guy's place in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> like while we were watching the Phillies. <laughs> and then I reminded you at the venue again how the show works. Look, I'm saying. I was wrong, but what I'm also saying is, at the time, I you were Charlie Brown's mom to me, dude. I was, I was just locked in on something else, so I just went, you all right, well, and then you. So I introduced Tommy to the stage, and already, like, like I kind of like when I was checking on him, like I'm like, hey, I just lit the last comic, like kind of like you good, and he's like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, one of those. Yeah, yeah. He's like looking at his mind, yeah. He's like, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah. Tommy, this is like a, like 
we're taping the show, you know, we, we tape it for YouTube and we try to make it look and sound and like you know, make it like as good of a production as possible. Tommy walks on watching his phone to the stage. Yeah. The game wasn't over. The game wasn't over. <laughs> he watches in real time. The Phillies lose. He And then he, he throws his phone on the stool. He's like, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> he goes, all right. Uh, and then he doesn't take suggestions. Start doing yeah. He starts doing material, and he does a 10-minute bit on 9-11. <laughs> it's my favorite bit. Literally, <laughs> but literally everyone in the back is like, they have no context for like him What's launching into a 9-11 bit. It's yeah. so funny. So they're all watching, and like I'm sure the bit does very well in a show where it's just a show <laughs> yeah. where people are expecting material, but people are like, is he okay? Yeah. Like, what is it? He's like talking about 9-11 for so long. So <laughs> People are trying to offer suggestions. Can you stop, stop talking doing about that? Yeah. <laughs> Please stop talking about 9-11. Yeah. Dude. Give me another tragedy. Who wants another tragedy? Also, I just love that it's like this is a thing you're going to have to add to the email you send to people about like the rules of the show. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Don't watch live television. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't bring your phone on and watch the World Series <laughs> while we're doing the taping. <laughs> that would be appreciated. Oh, that would be sorry. great. Sorry. So then I tried to... I try to save the situation because he he does the 9-11 thing. It does all right for him doing material on a show that's a no material show. And people are clapping. They're like, all right, we like Tommy, whatever. I go back on stage and I go, you know you didn't do the format at all. I call him out on stage. Yeah. And he goes, what, what do you mean? I'm like, I re-explain to him on stage. I go, I'm going to leave the stage oh. now and I'm going to let you do the format of the show. Yeah. And then I leave a, a, and let him do it for a little bit. I come back on stage <laughs> and I join him and we're trying to get a, a like a duo going and he's just looking at me like it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you're trying to salvage with your <laughs> editing what, with, with whatever your oh, re-entrances dude. to the yeah. stage. Like we ended up like between like his set and then me on stage. It was like a 20 25 minute chunk of the show that we were trying to like <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. trying to repair Resurrect, it because I wanted, yeah. I wanted, I love we'll get him. something out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want to yeah. get something out of it, and I love Tommy, and I think he's hilarious. So I want to feature him on the show. Yeah, yeah. And he just looked at me a couple of times, like, whatever you're doing right now, <laughs> it's never gonna work tonight. Yeah, dude. You I'm know in what? a different well, headspace. I'll tell you what, it's one of those things where like, you're a secret blackout. Yeah, but I was because I remember all this, and I what I do is I black out from. Is ha- wanting, wanting to have any fun, it's like you don't realize what we do is so childish and dumb until like you see real life happen. You know? Yeah. Like this right now, he's next to a fucking teddy bear talking about donuts, <laughs> like what my what, what our grandfathers did. You know what I mean? Losing that game and that series, I immediately was like, this sh- this is so fucking gay. It all look at all this shit. Everybody around me, I that's hate blacked it. out. That's yeah. blacked out. That's Tommy's blackout. Yeah, that's like an anger blackout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a prop. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah. Tommy it's goes. A prop. Well, we're gonna do it next month. And yeah, yeah. And um, no sports. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I told Tommy he's gonna do the Netflix as a joke stand up on the spot at the comedy store. He's gonna get a redemption set in. When, 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 when is this happening? Uh, May second. Thursday, May 2nd at the Comedy Store in L.A. Sixers playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to kick that out. You might want to kick that out. Let's get some early season oh, Eagles yeah. football. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he finds every time he does a show, he's like, dude, it was the women's lacrosse <laughs> championship of Philly. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like uh, game seven, Knicks, Sixers. <laughs> but Great. yeah, but that's... I haven't been following all season, so that, yeah. I won't. Sixers, I don't kill myself until they're like close to the championship. But yeah, Tommy and I, we exchanged some words over the phone, like right after it happened. Like, uh, and then the next day, I called him. And I'm like, dude, we're good. I love you. But you did screw it over the show just a little bit. Sorry, dude. There was, still, but here's the thing. I've never funny. seen Jem- Jeremiah hot. And yeah, he, like he after the show, he's like, well, yeah. You fucked up. And I was like, oh my God. I fucking, I never saw yes, that do that. Dude. I know, I know. And then I got home and texted him. And I, you know, I just, it, everything started wearing off. And I was like, dude, I fucked, I hurt this kid's feelings. I started to send him texts like, do you hate me? Am I in trouble? I'm like, I love you. We're good. But I said, I said, I'm upset. I'm not going to lie that I'm not upset. I said, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll, fi- we'll fix it in the future. But because he texted me right away after the show and, and he goes, 
yeah, you can't post any of that. I go, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Like, I'm going to ask you to, to, oh, please, Tommy, please let me yeah. include this in the Is it cool if we put this in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. thing that I was mad at you in real time right, about? Right, right, right. Uh, I think if it goes to game six, <laughs> oh, that no. will be May 2nd. <laughs> Are you are you a diehard <laughs> Sixers fan? Not like the Phillies. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the clip. If you want to see the full episode of me and my pal here fucking off, uh, click here. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also like and subscribe to our regular podcast channel, Stuff Island. Stuff Island. Uh, and then we got Patreon.com where there's hundreds of hours of like more stuff. We got cooking stuff. We got VR stuff. So check that out. On uh, Patreon.com, Patreon.com, Patreon.com slash Stuff Island.